I'ma celebrate some news. Hey. I do a good job. Pull up and pop out and pull out. True. Hat on and hood on. Pedal to metal. When I put my foot on, I got to put on. I got a bad one. They want to keep me. Oh, that's a good one. Pockets are dense. I think my bread is hard as a crew. Receipts in my pocket don't come with a coupon. Hey, yeah. Okay. 30,000 in the pocket. No change. Okay. I might pass the ball, but this is no game. Okay. Welcome in, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got a good one in store between the Austin Bats and the London Black Knights. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thank you. The calendar has turned to December, and we're in the home stretch now as we're underway in week 13. This one taken from the seven. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they will be led out by their six foot six quarterback. It's pretty much become the norm when we see guys come out before a game and go through the route tree with their receivers. I thought it was exciting for us to see the exact same thing happen in practice. He's, so, not, he's so meticulous, no. isn't he? He really is, and it's not. that told me it's not just a one-time-a-week thing. They work on it all the time, trying to hone that fine edge. They want to see if they can get in sync and stay in sync in this one. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. The numbers for Zeke from last week. 17 carries, 71 yards. Well, he's the number two runner in the league, and you just know the offensive line wants to get him to number one because most of the good ball carriers, they take care of their linemen. Could be a gold watch in their future if he becomes the leading rusher. A gain of three, second down. And this whole line, it is the lifeblood of the offense. They established the tone. Mean, nasty, physical. They can't wait to get after people. That allows the rest of the offense to feel confident. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 15 yards on the play. First down. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10. As they've got things rolling on this drive. Elliott on first down going absolutely nowhere. So he'll lose about three on the play. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that'll make this a second and 13. To throw on second down, Christensen. Well, he can be a load to handle off the edge, and he can do it against the pass. Sure, he can do it against the run like he did there. And you mentioned a load. How about having to adjust to his speed as well? Because not only does he bring some pop, he brings some dash as well. A nice play in that situation. To throw on third down, Christensen. Well, the two men come together, and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively, brings up fourth down. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. Carter doesn't seem like it, but that's a tough spot for a kicker. First drive of the game, and they're calling on it. He should be warmed up. He should be into the game, but sometimes... It's almost like, oh, what, now already? Can't they put it in the end zone? What's going on here? Yeah, and he's probably saying, if you can't get it in the end zone, can you give me a 30, 40-yarder? <laughs> a long one, and he can't connect. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Check 31, check 31. They'll run. This is Kamara. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. Call it a loss of two on the play. And they're going to face a third down. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Briggs. And the defense will get their hands on it, going the other way. There he goes, right side. And he's going to bring the fumble back for a touchdown. And he has great speed, defensive back speed. Once he got it and took off, there was no catching him. And I know every team tells you to hustle no matter what the play, but there was no chance of catching him. Maybe if it had been a defensive tackle running with the ball, but not in this case. 
Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way. The fumble return for a touchdown. That's it, baby. We got one. So here are visitors to take over on offense. They start the drive on the ground, Kamara. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. The numbers there for Kamara from a week ago. 18 carries, 75 yards. And Barton, I thought it was a lot of fun for us to be able to sit in on their film session with the offensive line. We saw how they blocked it up last week to pretty good success. And we see what their game plan is for this week. They expect that defensive front to be someone they can move. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. That catch good for five. It's third down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. From the gun, Grant. Driven down. Ready for the second quarter, and it's our visitors with the football. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. That one goes for 24 yards. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around to make the play in football. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. This offense so far on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and ten. Back to throw. Grant. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. On first down, Archer. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Looking to throw on second down. Grant to the goal line, but it's incomplete. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. This is caught. And he gets into the end zone for the touchdown. A 15-yard touchdown grab as they are now on the board here in the first half. The big fellow was the recipient there for that touchdown pass, and it seems like more and more the tight end is the guy you have to worry about most in the passing game. Point after, right down the middle, and we are tied at seven. So that drive, 12 plays in length. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Come on, set. 70, Indy. They'll start the drive with Elliott. 
And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. On third down, Christensen, and that's complete to Adams. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Make that now three straight two-yard gains. Well, the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. So, the coach. Sorry, we get slap happy up here sometimes. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense. We've got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. That first down completion only netted them three. Second and seven. Here's a second and seven. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Throwing on first down. Grant, wide open receiver complete. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. On first down, Grant. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. This quarterback now, only one pass has hit the ground for him. 10 of 11 thus far. It's first and 10. Throw left side complete. It's Briggs. A gain of six there on first. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. So now on comes the field goal unit here. A 33-yarder from the left hash. And this one is right through. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. Now the drive ends in just three, but they'll take it. Looks like they'll head to the locker room, barring something unfortunate in front on the scoreboard. Yeah, they may not be jumping up and down and celebrating because they have the lead, but still, any little momentum in a game like this is important to a team. And they'll feel real good about going in and regrouping knowing that they are out in front. Here we go, here we go. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Time here for likely a couple plays if they want it, but with the field position what it is, maybe better suited to just sit on this one? I'm with you totally. I would sit on it and get into the lock. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Looking to throw. Christensen. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. A final shot before break. Christensen. He's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Due to time constraints, we move you forward in today's broadcast to the beginning of the third quarter. As they say here in London, all to play for as we are back underway in the second half. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. 
They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's we'll see if they do just that. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Off the play fake. Grant. And oh, he took that in one handed. What a grab. Let's go, buddy. It's got to the point where we see guys like that make that type of a catch. Not fair goes through my brain. That size, that speed, and now they're acting like wide receivers too. Yeah, yeah tight end one-handed catches. They're kind of like wide receiver one-handed catches nowadays. Just not right. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. To throw on second down. Grant, that's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. I think it all came together there. In breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. A 10th carry for Kamara. And he's going to get this inside the 30. It's a 13-yard pickup as the downs reset. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. They'll run on first down. Archer. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. On the ground, Kamara. Call that a gain of five as the clock ticks inside of two minutes to go now in the third. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. Operating from the gun, Grant. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. Something we haven't really seen much of from him, an incomplete pass. Yeah, last week he finished at 70%. This week he's up over 80%. I don't know how you slow him down. Pass rush is usually the best way because a quarterback on his back usually can't complete a pass. Well, looking at it from a defensive perspective, that keeps the deficit very, very manageable. You know, all things considered, not a bad job on the defensive side. I would say that you've pointed out something pretty good right there, and that is you actually have both sides happy with that exchange. You know, happy in quotes, of course. One team, hey, we've kept, kept it within range. The other side saying, hey, we put points on the board and did stretch out the lead. Let's see how this one turns out. Yeah, still bottom line, though, three points for the opening drive of the third quarter. And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line, it's a sack. Well, if an offense is going to throw the ball in this part of the field, any pass rusher will tell you that's his favorite part. Gets a chance to get after the quarterback. It's almost like a reverse red zone. They can create points using their defense, and this time they take their man down. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. So they bring out their putter, standing just about on his own goal line. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. This is taken at the 23. 62 yards on the punt that time. Wow. And that will come the offense as they take over. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And they've got the lead here getting late into the third quarter. And the passing game for them, it's been terrific. We've seen that. But the rushing game, almost non-existent. And with the lead and trying to finish this game off, 
They need the running game to come back to life. They need to get sparked that way, take some time off the clock, and keep the ball away from their opponents. They run it again with Kamara, and he's going to get hit at the line of scrimmage and driven backwards. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. So here is the home side to take over on offense. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives your preserve to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Back to throw. Christensen. He hits his target, the tight end Adams. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A very solid gain of 27. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. To throw again, Christensen. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve. Throw one to him every so often, but mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the lead. And it's caught. Touchdown. 25 yards for the touchdown. And now they can recapture the lead if they can make the PAT. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic. But usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever. There it results in a touchdown. This is taken at the three. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with a game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Back to throw now on second and 10. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Good hang on, third down. Big play coming up, here's third and 10. I would expect to see some pressure here. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. And he'll be brought down Pushing with the first down and a Pushing late flag here, too. Defense. And he may get a few more tacked on for good measure. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all. And now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. 
15 yards last play and 15 yards here this go around. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So it's our visitors with the football as we get you reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. And it's caught. Touchdown. 15-yard touchdown grab. And his guys are going to retake the lead. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Wow. I know it's a never-say-never never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but not, you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get overeager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. Here he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. And after the slow start, the numbers show he has really straightened things out. How often sometimes is that that you come into a game and the defense is game planned a little differently than you expected? More often than maybe people realize, so adjustments are often a big part of each and every game, and it's not just getting to halftime. It's series to series to make it work. And being able to hang in there when there's a little adversity early and see him able to flip it around, it's kind of gratifying for a team to watch, especially for a coach. They throw again on second down. This one's complete. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They face a third and four after that last completion gets him six. Back to throw. And he fires one, but incomplete. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. And now this is going to be close. The defense says they stopped him, and they did. Everyone gears up for third down, talks about the importance of it. But fourth down, that's truly the moment of truth play, isn't it? Everything's dialed up a little bit more. And, it, you know, it's such a momentum play, isn't it? Absolutely, because it can flip either way, depending on who converts on fourth down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. <laughs> Running with Camara. And a short gain down to about the 33. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just a shade under a minute to go in the game. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. A man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Kamara again. And he'll get it down inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. From the gun on third down, Grant. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. It's a gain of 15, and that ought to just about put an end to this one. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 45 seconds left to go in the game. And they will take a knee here. Victory very much in sight now as they'll take a knee. So this crowd will not go home happy. It's a victory for our visitors. And I tell you, this was a fun one. Just a